What stage of the crypto market are we in? We're gonna go over this chart behind me. You're gonna to wanna to see this. Be sure to watch till the end. So this chart behind me breaks down market cycles into six stages. Now it uses the stock market to really do it, but it's going to apply to crypto just as easily. So in the first stage, we have bonds going up, stocks and commodities going down. Stage two, commodities down, stocks and bonds up. So we are still in the contraction phase at that point. In stage three, we have commodity stocks and bonds going up. So we have, right there, we've bottomed and we are heading up. In stage four, we have commodities and stocks going up, bonds going down. Stage five, bonds and stocks going down, commodities going up. So that's the top of the cycle. And then in stage six, bonds, stocks, commodities all going down. I'm gonna tell you which one I think we're in right now because it's very important to figure out where we are in the market. But first, let's go over to this other chart and see what these six stages, six stages, uh, really represent. So stage one shows the economy contracting and bonds turning up as interest rates decline. Economic weakness favors loose monetary policy and the lowering of interest rates, which is bullish for bonds, really bullish for everything. Stage two marks a bottom in the economy and the stock market. Even though economic conditions have stopped deteriorating, the economy is still not at an expansion stage or actually growing. However, stocks anticipate an expansion phase by bottoming before the contraction period ends. So stage two is really the bottom of the decline the bottom of the market. Stage three shows a vast improvement in economic conditions as the business cycle prepares to move into an expansion phase. Stocks are rising and commodities are anticipating an expansion phase by turning up. So this is starting to come up from the bottom, really the beginning of the bull phase. Stage four marks a period of full expansion. Both stocks and commodities are rising, but bonds turn lower because the expansion increases inflationary pressures. To combat this, interest rates start to move higher. Stage five marks a peak in economic growth and the stock market, even though the expansion continues, the economy grows at a slower pace because rising interest rates and rising commodity prices take their toll. Stocks anticipate a contraction phase by peaking before the expansion actually ends. Commodities remain strong and peak after stock. So that's the top of the market is stage five. Now let's look at stage six. This is a really interesting one. Stage six marks a deterioration in the economy as the business cycle prepares to move from an expansion phase to a contraction phase. Stocks have already been moving lower and commodities now turn lower in anticipation of decreased demand from the deteriorating economy. So what phase do I think we're in? To me, it seems like we're in stage six because bonds, stocks, commodities are all going down. Sure, we've had a little tick up here in bonds and stocks in the past few weeks, but overall, we're still in a down market. Commodities are going down. Soon though, we will be moving into stage one and stage two is the bottom. Hit that follow. 